look at this. What's going on doggies and welcome back to another video. All right, so yesterday I went to the fishing shop and I treated myself. For myself, this tiny little fishing setup. I saw it in there and I thought that thing looks like so much fun. I bought it and I think it's gonna be a pleasure to use. It's actually really funny. Every time I pick it up, I just laugh because it's like, I don't know. It's like I'm holding a bloody toothpick or something. It's a one to two kilo setup with two kilo line and I'm throwing a little three gram Gillies lure like that. So it's actually going to be really interesting. I really want to get a fish and see this thing bend because it's like, dude, it just flops in the wind. Like, look at this little thing. So excited to use it. So today I think we're just going to explore. I brought no food. So hopefully this rod can provide us some lunch. We'll start a fire on the beach. Who knows, I've got absolutely no plans except for a day of adventure. So let's get into it and let's see if we can put a bend in this rod because I am so excited to see this little noodle bend. change because it's a little bit windy and this tiny little lure is just getting skipped across the surface so unfortunately I can't use him I've got to use something that dives down so maybe this little sucker so this is probably one of the things I enjoy doing the most even if I don't get fish it doesn't bother me because this is so sick like this background here like walking over these black rocks the crystal clear water in the background it's just like Man, this is living, eh? I absolutely love it. You gotta scale your way through all these loose rocks, nice clear water. There's heaps of these little bays. There's like one there. I think there's one around the corner. I'm not sure if I can keep walking. It would be good if I could swim, but I've got a drone in my bag, which means I've sort of got to, obviously I've got to stay dry as possible, but I might have to get back on my scooter or my motorbike and drive back around to another point, but the froth levels are higher. We're going to give this little lure a shot. What do you reckon? It's going to work? Surely. Woo, it's getting hot. All right, so I've just come back to my trusty bike because you can't keep walking around that corner over there. It was all blocked off. Yeah, I would have had to swim and I can't swim with my bag. So jump back on the rocket and we are going to go back around to another headland. Hopefully I can find a headland on the maps, which is sticking out a bit so I can cast with the wind. And fingers crossed, get a fish on that noodle rod. Oh man, it feels so good. Cast and it just goes forever. It's, it's so good. I actually can't wait to go find a good location to fish in. So, see you in the next location, doggies. Whoo! Shoop! All right, welcome to spot number two. So this spot is definitely a place that I haven't been before. I just took this like super funky little track over there on the bike. I think it's like a cow track, I'm not too sure. But we're here. Hopefully we'll get a couple of fish here. I'm sort of running away from that wind and I just checked the reports and the wind's gonna, sh it's gonna be getting stronger. So I've really got to find places where I can hide away today. So we've only got a small walk down to here. And as you can see, that's the ocean. <coughs> that looks, Beautiful down there, but look at that. Yes, this spot looks killer. I think it it looks like it's hidden from the wind a little bit, so we could be on. We could be in luck. Oh, there's a track. Of course, I go through the bush when there's a track here. 
This is beautiful. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about. Nice calm water. Push, push, push. Yes. This is me, baby. Oh, that water is so clear. People come and people go Through high streets we know Dark and light, day and night No one knows what the future will interesting ah, I can't <laughs> I'm trying to get to the end of this rock groin here so I can fish into the deeper water but oh shit this is deeper than I thought I've got to try to get over there with my bag on my back over these slippery rocks Woo! <laughs> ah, there's a wave coming let me go That's uh, probably not the smartest thing to do, but hey, we made it. Let's try to get ourselves some breakfast. If I can get one fish, I'm gonna start a fire straight away and cook it up. I need to eat something. This is actually so funny. So I've got like long tom coming up and trying to eat this tiny little lure, but I can't set the hooks because a long tom's mouth is like extremely hard. It's full of teeth. It's like a bird's beak with teeth in it. So I'm trying to set, I'm trying to set these little baby hooks and they're just like biting it, but they're not hitting it. It's got bite marks all over it, but I just can't hook them. If I can hook a long tom, I'll eat a long tom. It'll be my first time ever eating a long tom. Oh, the fish. I got a fish on the noodle. It's tiny. Oh, it's a bloody gurnard. You're joking, aren't you? The noodle got its first fish. That's what I'm going to call it, the noodle. This is what we got. <laughs> Look at the size of it. So this is called a gurnard. Mad little fish. Look at the teeth on him. So there we go. We've got a little gurnard. Full on little predator of the sea. Look at those teeth. Gnarly little fish. I'm not gonna eat him. This isn't a survival situation. Off he goes home. So I put on a little soft plastic to see if I could get something off the bottom. Look at the size of it. <laughs> Look how big that thing is, man. Ah, uh, it's so small. This is actually really fun though, with this light here. I'm having a ball. I just wish this wind would bugger off. I don't even know if you guys can hear me. It's so windy right now. But it is still super fun. Well, we're gonna keep exploring because there's not a lot of fish there and, oi, what the f is that? Woo! Just got this sick cactus just growing out of the rock. I have no idea how that grows in rock. And then you met with this absolutely beautiful water. That wind is kind of comes in gusts, it comes and goes. This is where we're adventuring today. It is absolutely beautiful. Hopefully along here somewhere we can get something to eat. Oh, 
how sick is it when you come across places like this? This little spot is magic. The water's so beautiful as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I'm on a super rocky. <laughs> All right, come on. We need to get ourselves some fish. This is so nice, but look at this. No! I just lost the fish of my life! It nearly straightened the <laughs> It nearly straightened the hook! Oh my god! It wasn't the fish of my life, but it was a friggin' fish! Wait, I need to get back. Alright, 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 we're on here. Woo! Oh, I just lost the fish! And I pulled that soft plastic off. So this is what I have to do to go to get the fish. Boy, this is really sharp and slippery. I'm gonna walk across, or well, I'm pretty much swimming now, across this section of water because out there is where the current is good. Ah! Oh man, it's so sharp. There goes my thong. This is mayhem. But just out there, that's where the current's pushing and it was like second cast with that lure. Ah, and I think it was like a little mackerel or something, so I'll go get me lures and I'll get back out there. Ooh, this is really sharp. I usually wear shoes when I do this. Ooh. Oh! Alright guys, I'll see you back out there. We've got a fish! <laughs> it's the smallest fish ever! Oh, it's gone! <laughs> that thing was like this big! <laughs> la, 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 la. The one day that I bring light tackle and I'm getting belted by, I think, their little trevally, I just can't. Like, these hooks. Look at the, it's it's straightening the hooks. These hooks are just not made for fish like they're not even big fish. They're maybe like oh, I don't know about this big. But when they come and bite it, they're just going like smack, and it's just like it keeps straightening the hooks. As soon as that happens, the fish just comes off. And then I put this little lure out, and they don't hit it. They're only they're only smashing the soft plastics. So. That's pretty interesting because they're the same size. Pretty much the same size. Don't know why. I'm loosening my drag off and as soon as I loosen my drag off they just start going around that rock there. So I don't know what to do. Ah! I'm going to move spots. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to shoot that way. Yeah. Hi. Do you want to know something? Really funny and really embarrassing. I just looked at my watch and I was like, excuse me? It's 3.30 in the afternoon. Where the hell did that day just go? I actually don't know. I've been casting lures for like the last four hours on the same rock. And I got smoked three times, whatever those fish were. They weren't big, they were like that big, but they were just hitting with so much force. The hook, or just the hooks were shit, I suppose, because the hooks were getting straightened. Happened three times in a row. So I'm going to pack up all my stuff and I'm going to shoot to the other side of the island. Hopefully I can make it there before sunset and I'll try to go for a squid. Some fresh squid for dinner and the first thing I eat all day. That sounds so good. All right, I'll see you guys at the squid spot. All right, so... This is not the squid spot. It's now three days later. <laughs> so I went to that squid spot and it was just the most horrible thing I've ever seen. It was windy, there was water, there was rubbish, there was weed, there was wood. It was just the most ugly looking ocean I've seen for a while. So ended up going home and then we got hit with three days of the shittest weather anyone could ask for. It's been blowing its tits off, it's been raining, it's been just, it's just been horrible, man. Today is the first day of good weather again, and it is absolutely beautiful. Couldn't ask for a better morning. So I'm back down here. We've got the noodle. Yeah, doggies. 
Back into it. Noodle sessions. Oh, is that a fish? No, of course not. Oh my God. We actually have a fish on the noodle. No way. Oh my God, it's taking line and it's silver. Oh my gosh, it's not a shit fish. I can't believe this, we've got a fish on the noodle. Look at it bend. That is a beautiful thing. Look at it bending. <laughs> oh my God, how am I gonna get this fish up? What is that? Oh no, I'm just gonna bring him up on this wave. Oh shit. There he is, that's beautiful. Oh yeah, the noodle finally got a proper fish. And I'm frothing about it. But I think it's like a little queenie or a... What is that? It's like a queenie sort of thing. So this is the beautiful little thing that we just caught. It's the first proper fish on the noodle. And I got it on that tiny little soft plastic. So this is very similar to a queenie in Australia. Except it's not the same. It's a little bit different. It's very weird. He took that tiny little soft plastic. These soft plastics actually go pretty good. They're very small. If I can get a couple more of these, I reckon I'll be able to have a beautiful feed down the beach. Wrap them in banana leaves, start a fire. Yep, we're doing that. Let's get back out there, see if we can get a couple more. <laughs> How good was that to see the noodle bend? It actually was like proper bending and taking line and that fish is only like that big. I can't wait to get something decent on it. But I just want to show you guys the setup that I'm using because I've been struggling all morning. I've been flicking lures. The lures that I'm throwing are like this big. They're tiny lures. But the fish that are here, they're feeding on bait fish and the bait fish are really small, like they're tiny. So I've tried to match the, my lure with the size of the bait fish. And as soon as I did that, I caught that fish. I just got a little ball sinker connected to a swivel. And then about, I don't know, what's that? A meter of line down to a single hook with a tiny little soft plastic on it. Now this soft plastic is exactly the same size as the fish that are getting eaten. So that's probably why I just got that fish then because I'm matching the bait with the fish. It's a long tom party out there. These long tom are just smashing this. There's so many long tom. I don't want long tom. I'll do but I'll try to eat one today if we get one. Oh, see that? Look at this. <laughs> it's behind it. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah, it's a long tom party. Oh, I just got to stop and put some zinc on because I'm getting absolutely roasted. It's really hot right now. I reckon it's time to change spots. For some reason, the swell's picking up. It's meant to be dropping off. I'm trying to cast that tiny little soft plastic along here, and it's just like, it's getting really hard with this swell. These waves are coming all the way up and like over, and I got, I got soaked before. I got proper, proper done by that wave. So I think I'm gonna pack everything up. We'll go find a beach, start a fire, cook that fish for lunch. Might even go buy some rice or something. A little bit of fish and rice around the fire. That sounds killer. But before I leave, I'm gonna treat myself. Look at this. Oysters. Oysters. Oysters, 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 oysters. Oysters! I can see you. Oh, I gotta watch my back here because I'm probably gonna get done by a wave. I'm gonna be quick. But there is an oyster right there and he looks absolutely delicious. There we go. Ah, that is the best flavor ever. Fresh oysters are ah, so good. I love it, I love it, I love it. Baby. 
I'm just eating oysters and there's actually like a natural swimming pool here. This is beautiful. Oh, this is living, eh? A swimming pool with oysters inside it. Everything I've ever wanted is right here, right now. <laughs> it's so good. All right, so we're all packed up, picking up people's rubbish again. Wonder when people are ever gonna learn to put their rubbish in the bin, eh? All right, so the mission now is to go and find a beautiful beach, go and find a banana leaf. Um, that's pretty much it. Beach and banana leaf, start a fire, cook this fish. I'm starving. And then we'll continue the journey. I'm not sure where we'll go after that, but we can go anywhere we want. Now, this is what I call a place to eat lunch. Look at this beach I've just found. I'm not really too sure what this beach is called, but it is dope. It's going to be a really good spot for lunch. Check this out. Look at this. I've got a chair already there. Epic view. Beautiful, lush, green backdrop. Man, what is this place? It's beautiful. All right, this right here is gonna be where I'm gonna have my fire. This is the perfect location. Don't need a big fire, we're just gonna cook that little fish. Hey, so I got these banana leaves, heaps of them. So I'm gonna wrap up the fish. What am I gonna do? Wrap up the fish in banana leaves. I've got a little bit of um, salt and pepper in my bag. Gonna get a nice little bed of coals going on here. Chuck the fish in. It is bloody beautiful out there, so maybe go for another swim, and then by the time we come back, our fish should be perfect. So let's get this fire pumping. What do we got here? Leaves, beautiful leaves. Ooh, everything's pretty wet, but don't you worry about that. I'll just take the leaves on top. We will get this fire going. Wet leaves or not. I'll go get the bloody petrol out of my scooter if I have to. couple of little twigs look at this this is what I live for I get so sidetracked when I come to beaches eh? I'm supposed to be looking for firewood and I've just gone on this little like mad little walk along the beach because I just found a little fishing float like a perfect little float which would be perfect for the noodle rod but now I'm sort of walking along the beach finding random stuff like this Look at that shell. Might take that home for the missus. Getting the good books. Oh, this is sick. Look at this. Big claws. One, two, and then a big drag tail like that. Look at that. Which means up there somewhere, there's a goanna. Maybe we can have fish and goanna wrapped in banana leaves. Now we're talking, eh? No, 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 no. <laughs> Wait, well, I need one more. Yep. Why am I slapping myself? Because I'm an idiot. Right now I have 5% battery in my camera, which I'm filming on, and my spare battery I just found out he's flat. Yep. That is the biggest rookie error ever. I didn't charge my second battery. All right, doggies, I'm gonna have to uh, leave this video here and yeah, I'll cook the fish by myself. I'm gonna miss you guys. All right, much love. Thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't. Give this video a lot of thumbs up and I guess I'll see you in the next one with full batteries. Much love, doggies. Oh!